Hello. How are you? So, I don't like hot dogs. I think they're gross. I couldn't tell you what they taste like, but they don't taste good. I know they're like an all-American food. Although I feel like the Germans are probably to blame somehow. Or we took some kind of good German sausage and just said, why not make it out of the cheapest shit we can find? I saw this thumbnail, which immediately made me gag how it's made hot dogs. And I mean, it's an American food, right? Hot dogs? I think. It's considered like an all-American type of food. So, let's see how the sausage is made, folks. Can you even call a hot dog a sausage? It's kind of an insult to sausages, in my opinion. Hot dogs are an all-American fare, but most likely it was German sausage makers who first came up with Did I not just say that? The idea. In fact, there are reports of German immigrants selling them from push carts in New York's Bowery as far back as the 1860s. A century and a half later, 1860s. hot dogs are still the number one treat on the street. Traditional hot dogs are made from a mix of pork, beef, and chicken. Is that the pork and the beef? That looked like sewage. Like That looks like the water that you cook a hot dog in. Like nasty hot dog water. It doesn't look like pork to me. Traditional hot dogs are made from a mix of pork, beef. That's the beef. And boneless beef. Boneless beef. That, yeah. That seems legit to me. It looks like it just freshly butchered. Freshly butchered cow right here. B90 Monday. Boneless beef. Beef and chicken. The cuts they start with are called trimmings. Pieces of meat left over from cutting steaks or pork chops. <laughs> uh, okay, so it actually is just the shitty parts of the cuts that nobody wants. The you know, I'm impressed. The same way they did manage to turn it into something that most people like here in America. I, I'm not normal. I do not like hot dogs. Tastes like rubber meat. Butchers chop up hamburger meat by pushing the cuts through grated metal plates. Okay. I mean, now it kind of looks like ground beef. And this video is super low quality to the point where it's not like completely disgusting. I can imagine. It looks so, it's a weird color. Processed chicken trimmings are added to the ground meat followed by food starch, salt, and other flavorings. Ground mustard? Why do you have to ground up mustard? These flavorings vary depending on where the hot dogs are being <clears throat> sold, because people in different regions have different tastes. That's the ground mustard, huh? Water is sprayed into the mix, and everything is blended together in a big vat. That's exactly how I thought hot dogs were made. I could have guessed. In a disgusting vat. Corn syrup adds a dash of sweetness. Why not add corn syrup in, right? America. The addition of even more water helps to disperse the ingredients and make the hot dogs juicier. Another machine then purees the meat batter into a fine emulsion and batter. Looks even worse going going in than it did does coming out, huh? Vacuum. Look how dirty, disgusting, filthy this tube is. What is wrong with these people? They heard the How It's Made people were coming to film an episode and they didn't bother to clean the tube. It's out any air. Long rolls of cellulose tubing are low. Also, can we go back to the part about how the juice inside the hot dog is water? It's just water that they've put in there on purpose to make it juicy. Loaded into the stuffing machine. It's not like the rendered fat in a steak where it's juicy. Oh, it's juicy. No. It's 
just water. Meat it water they the put meat in there. Puree into these casings, meat puree. Meat puree. And a quarter inches, the length of one hot dog. It takes just 35 seconds to make a chain of hot dogs that would span a soccer field twice. 35 seconds to span a soccer field twice. Damn. That actually is pretty in impressive. I'll admit it. I'm impressed. That's pretty goddamn then, long. Three of those hot dog chains are. Because how long is a soccer field? It's like 120 yards, right? Or more? Linked together to make an even longer string. And they're loaded several at a time into another machine, which drapes the hot dogs onto moving racks. The process is carefully 100 to 130 so yards. Twist always lands on the bar. How can it be 100 to 130? Okay. Pro soccer field. This is so dumb. Why are there different sizes? Guys, what the heck? International matches. 110 to 120. So it's 100 meters. Whatever. I'm annoyed. You'd think there would just be a good standard answer. The racks shunt the hot dogs through a liquid smoke shower, then into an oven. Liquid smoke shower. With several cooking zones. The liquid smoke seeps through the casing and adds flavor to the dogs as they bake. So they're already cooked. Hot out of the oven, these franks are drenched in cold salty water to chill them in preparation for packaging. Hmm. Cold salty water. The hot dogs then file down to an unloading zone. Look how freaking many there are. Here, a machine pulls them off the bars onto a conveyor. God, people really eat this many because for for them to be made this quick, you got to think that's how how quickly people are eating it. So you can just imagine Americans everywhere with the their mouths just. <laughs> That's how many are being eaten right now. Then the hot dogs slide off the conveyor into metal containers. If you've been wondering about those black stripes on the casings, all is about to be I, revealed. I mean, I was. I was. I wasn't going to mention it because I thought it would sound stupid. Obviously, that's got to come off. The stripe is a marker attached to the casing. The absence of a black stripe means the hot dog is cooked and ready for packaging. So it's not cooked yet? I thought they already baked it. Inside the peeler machine, a tiny knife slits each casing along the top. Then, steamy air blows the casings right off the dogs. The dogs don't have a casing this when you get them? This peels 700 hot dogs a minute. 700 a minute? Holy shit. An inspector Ew. makes sure the casing has been completely removed and that there are no defects in the dog. <laughs> <laughs> this guy has quite an interesting job. Like, he has good job security, you know what I mean? How hard would it be to replace this guy? An inspector okay, make sure look at him inspect these dogs. Has been Toss them out like that. How did these dogs get through? How did they accidentally make dogs that are three times longer than normal? removed hey what about that one this one's too long get that one off there and that there are no defects in the dogs then it's into a device that looks like a plastic bicycle chain the sprockets position the hot dogs for packaging okay this factory manufactures an incredible 300,000 hot dogs an hour <laughs> That's close to two and a half million per shift. They really do churn them out like sausages. And so this is the John Morrill. Fire up the grill and a mouth-watering meal is just minutes away. Ew. I don't like it. Do Europeans think hot dogs are gross like I do? <laughs> well, you're right. They are. Nasty. All right. Um... Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks to How It's Made for that beautiful video. Showing one of America's finest cuisines.
and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.